Hey guys, I'm Jennifer Bands, and today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make these delicata squash fries. They are so delicious and super easy and super dippable in sugar-free ketchup. Let me show you how to make them right now. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's get started with this delicata squash fries. So if you've never seen a delicata squash, this is what it looks like. This is one that's a little bit smaller than, um, than I normally find, but this is the last one I had. Cry, I need to go buy some more. Um, but these are my favorite squash of the season. They are, t like the skin is tender, you can eat the skin, you just wanna wash it first. So I've already you know washed and dried this one, and now we're gonna cut it up and season it really nicely bake them in the oven to make some delicata squash fries. They are, I could eat them every single day. They're so good. So first thing I wanna do is cut the ends of, off of this squash with a sharp knife. You wanna make sure your knife is pretty sharp because squash is still tough because it's not cooked. Then I'm gonna cut it in half. And you might need to bang on the knife to get the knife to go through, just like that. And then I'm gonna put it flat like this and I'm gonna cut it in half this way. I'm gonna do that for both pieces. Just like that. So now we wanna scrape out the seeds. So I've got a spoon. And I like to just stick my spoon into the top and cut that root right there, and then just push down with my spoon and scrape the seeds out. So I'm sure you could save these seeds and make roasted delicata squash seeds. That would probably be delicious. Okay, now we're gonna cut them into half moons. Thinly, you know, pretty thin sliced. About quarter of an inch, half inch or so. We just wanna do that with each quarter of our squash. <clears throat> we're gonna put these on a sheet tray that's lined with parchment paper just for easy cleanup. You don't have to but I like to do that for easy cleanup. And I'm just gonna lay them out on my sheet tray. Okay, perfecto, they all fit perfectly. I'm gonna brush these with avocado oil. You could also spray them with avocado spray. I'm only gonna do one side. You could do both sides if you want to, but I'm just, you know, I'm just too lazy to flip all of these over. And I don't really notice a difference. Okay, now we've got all of our seasonings. We've got a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. This, you know, this is really good, you know, like the savory sweet because the squash is a little sweet. We've got our savory mixture right here, but you could also do a sweet mix, um, seasoning mix that would be really good, like cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, that would be really good. So we're gonna season these generously. I season one side generously. then I just don't care about the other side. <laughs> All right, perfecto. Okay, I'm just gonna <clears throat> smush them around like that, get them all, make sure they're all even one layer. These are gonna go in a 425 degree oven for about 20 minutes. They'll be fork tender and they're, they will be done. But I like to then stick them under the broiler for a few minutes just to get them um, brown and a little crunchy around the edges. 
Okay, here are our delicata squash fries out of the oven. They look so good. I've got them with some sugar-free ketchup here. Just do a little dip. Mmm. So good. Of course, fries are crispy. These aren't crispy. You really can't get squash crispy unless you just almost burn it because um, it's got so much water in it. But it's still so good. The, the skin is nice and tender. Mm. I, I could eat this whole bowl. It's so, so good. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. For another keto dupe on a side dish, I would suggest you check out my keto cauliflower hummus. If you're on Facebook, you can just go to my website, jenniferbands.com, and search for cauliflower hummus. It's made out of cauliflower, but I'm telling you right now, it tastes like hummus. It is so good. If you're on YouTube, you can just click this box right here, and it will take you right to the video where I show how to make it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.